Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys my June and July favorites. I missed out on my favorites for the past couple of months. It's because I was trying a bunch of new stuff. So yeah, there were not a lot of things that I could share with you guys. So I thought why just waste my time and energy making a video about my favorites if there's only like two products. It made no sense. So it's kind of like an accumulated favorite. So yeah, also I'm wearing majority of the things that i like on my face today so in case if you guys want to see what those products are then please continue watching okay so the first thing that i'm going to be talking about is this guy right here this is the color bar blenditude sponge in my huge collective haul i showed this sponge and ever since i got this sponge i have been using it on and off you know testing it out and i have to say i really do like this sponge right now it looks very tiny because it's not damp it's dry i just washed it yesterday so it's it's pretty dry so i constantly switch between a brushes and sponge to apply my foundation concealer and all of that so whenever i'm using a sponge this is the sponge that i've been grabbing to apply foundation blend my concealer and all of that it's a really nice affordable sponge that i've not really seen anybody talk about it's not as soft as my eco tools blending sponge that beauty blender from eco tools is my absolute favorite and nothing comes close to that but compared to whatever sponges that i've tried in the past i was really impressed by this sponge so i would highly recommend you guys checking this out this does doubles up in size once you dampen it and it gets really soft and squishy it absorbs the product a little bit more than your average a beauty blender but if i'm gonna be really honest i don't really mind that as long as my beauty blender is not soaking up excessive amounts of product i don't really mind that so uh, yeah do keep this in mind that in case if you are planning to buy the sponge it might soak up your product a little bit more than your average sponge so first one is this so one. the second product that i'm going to be talking about is this bad boy right here this is the note terracotta blusher in the shade sugar sense and oh my word I know I just said that it's a blusher, but I honestly do not like using it as a blush. I like using it as a glowing bronzer. This is the product that I've been using to give me that J-Lo glow, that bronzy glow to my face. And in fact, this is the bronzer that I have on my face right now. And if you see a little bit of glowy bronziness going on my face, it's because of this guy. As you guys can see, it's a baked product. It's so finely metal, like... Can you guys see how beautiful that product is? It gives you the most beautiful glow that you can ever ask for in a bronzer. It's quite pigmented. So I would suggest going in with a light hand, but it blends out a beautifully it gives your skin such a beautiful healthy glow that's one thing that i really like about this product is it gives such a nice glow to your face but it does not have any chunky glitter particles in it i really like the shade on this because it's not too warm it's not too you know neutral it's got the perfect warm tones in this bronzer that it's going to give you a nice warmth without looking like an oompa loompa the shade in this the formulation in this i mean everything about this bronzer is absolute love look no Further, ladies and gentlemen this is the bronzer that you need in your life in case if you want that jlo glow you need this you need this okay so moving on to another favorite i'm gonna be talking about this guy which is the physician's formula healthy foundation yeah it's their healthy foundation i guess i got this a month ago or maybe a little over a month ago and i haven't stopped using this foundation ever since i'm not kidding when i say that i have only been using this foundation on my face all the time okay maybe i'm using a different foundation just to give this foundation a little bit of break but majority of the time whenever i'm filming or you know just applying makeup this is the foundation that i have been reaching for and oh my god you guys what do i even begin to say about this foundation so i'm not gonna get too in depth about this foundation because i'm gonna be posting a review on this foundation next after i post this video so yeah be on the lookout for that but to give you guys a little brief on why i love this foundation is because this foundation gives your face such a healthy glow and when i say glow i don't mean like you know it's one of those illuminating or dewy foundation it does not have any illuminating or pearly finish in it but yet it somehow makes my skin look like my skin but just a little bit more perfected i hope that makes sense you guys i mean i'm trying not to give you guys a lot of detail but yet 
enough detail so that you guys would know why I love this product. So yeah, I'm sorry if I'm doing a terrible job at it, but also I really like the fact that it's such a lightweight foundation, which is very surprising to me because I've tried so many different types of, you know, lightweight foundation, but you can still feel those foundations on your face. But for some reason, this foundation doesn't do that. It not only just meshes in with your skin and makes your skin look really natural and healthy looking, but it also feels really lightweight. And no matter how many layer of this foundation I apply on my face, it still feels lightweight. And it still feels like I've got nothing on my face. I like everything about this foundation. I like the formula, I like the finish, I like how long lasting it is on my face, despite me having a really oily skin type. Oh, and I completely forgot to mention, this is the foundation that I have on my face. And it looks so pretty, like, mm. I love everything about this foundation. I literally have to stop myself to grab this foundation every time I do my makeup. That's how much I Okay, love. so I've got another product from Physicians Formula that I want to talk about. And it's this product. It's their Healthy Lip Velvet Finish Lipstick. It's basically Physicians Formula's version of a liquid lipstick. And the one that I have right here is in the shade All Natural Nude. This is such a pretty nude shade. This is the nude shade of my dreams can you guys see how pretty that looks like wow you can't tell me otherwise i am a sucker for nude lipsticks but oftentimes finding your perfect nude lipstick is very difficult either they run a little too peach or a little too pink a little too you know cool toned and i don't like that i like a mix of everything when i think about nude lipstick for myself i want a little bit of peach in there a little bit of pink in there a little bit of brown in there basically what i'm trying to say is i want a little bit of everything in my perfect nude lip shade and this is the one and i think i found my perfect nude lipstick in a liquid form that is my all-time favorite nude lipstick has to be mac velvet teddy nothing comes close to that lipstick in my sense but i feel like this is kind of giving that bad boy a competition and it's one of those lipsticks that has more of a moussey texture like the nyx soft matte cream uh, i wouldn't say it dries matte it dries very velvety looking in fact this is the lipstick that i have on my face i've mixed another lipstick that i'm going to be talking about later on but yeah it's like the foundation feels really lightweight on your lips it doesn't feel drying which is a plus when it comes to liquid lipstick we all know liquid lipsticks can get really drying that's the reason why they are so long lasting but I, this is one of those lipsticks that's really comfortable on your lips you can easily wear this lipstick the entire day and you wouldn't feel it you know drying out your lips sucking out all the moisture out of your lips it's a really nice formula i really need to pick up a couple more shades from this range because that's how much i love the formulation of it and that's how much i like it that i want to invest in more of okay these. so moving on i'm gonna be talking a bang it is gonna be this guy this is the house of makeup here to stay kajal and this kajal has quickly made its way into my top five kajal pencils that's how much i love this kajal pencil you guys it's one of the most creamiest most pigmented kajal that i've ever 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 tried in my life like that's one swipe you guys can you see how intense and pigmented that is it's very difficult to find a kajal pencil that is pigmented that glides on very easily on your waterline that, that stays put on your waterline the entire day without making it look like you've got panda eyes so yeah i really do enjoy this kajal it is so pigmented it is so long lasting this is such a great eyeliner you guys i am someone who's got very sensitive eyes so i'm very particular about what i put on my waterline this is the only kajal pencil that i've been reaching for if you go through my instagram you would see how much i've been using this bad boy non-stop in pretty much every makeup tutorial that i've been posting on there i don't know what they did while they were formulating this product but oh my god this is one of the most long lasting pencil that i've tried that doesn't smudge on me i don't know how it does that house of makeup in case if you guys are watching this video you guys need to make this kajal in different colors also i completely forgot to mention this is paraben free it's not tested on animals it does not have any sls or any of those nasty chemicals in it 
I mean, I am truly blown away by this brand. And I would like to mention that this product was sent to me by the brand, but I genuinely do really like this product. And that's the reason why I'm including it in my video. Also, this is the kajal that I have on my waterline and I'm also on my eyelid. So yeah, that's another favorite product of mine. Okay, so speaking about house of makeup, there's another product that I'm gonna be talking about. It's this guy, which is their Pout Potion Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the shade Brown with it. I'm not gonna get into much detail about why I love this lipstick and why I love this brand in general because I've made an in-depth review about all these products that I'm showing in this video so I'm gonna leave it somewhere on the screen or in the description box below for you guys to check out that video but anywho a couple of weeks ago I posted a video doing a monochrome brown look and I mentioned in that video that I created that makeup look all because of this guy I was so inspired by this chocolatey brown color that I knew I had to put it on my face and I knew I had to do a look out of it. This is such a pretty brown shade. Can you see how pretty that looks? This is the perfect shade of brown that I feel like would suit so many different skin tones. And this is the lipstick that I've applied on top of the Physicians Formula lipstick. The undertone, the shade and formulation, everything about this product is just amazing like chef's kiss and honestly i'm a sucker for shades like this like nudes and browns have a special place in my heart this lip shade is everything i cannot wait to put this lipstick on during fall and oh my god i can only imagine so many looks using this lipstick for fall wow I'm not going to be talking more and more about this brand but I'm really happy and I'm really impressed by this brand altogether and I'm really happy that I finally came across an Indian brand that I actually like and would support. You guys need to check out House of Makeup in case if you are looking for some bomb ass products you guys won't be disappointed by any of their products i'm gonna promise you that so there you go that's another favorite of mine from house of me okay so my last favorite product that i'm gonna be talking about is this eyeshadow palette by forever 52 this is their diamond dusk eyeshadow palette i did a first impression where i was trying a bunch of different things from forever 52 and out of all the products that i tried this bad boy has been a constant you get a bunch of different matte shades in here and a bunch of different shimmer shades in here a couple of fun colors to play with and oh my god you guys i'm really surprised by how good this palette is i don't remember the actual price of this palette but i do remember it being quite affordable this is a palette that i have on my eyes and on my face you guys yes you heard me right so let me give you a little breakdown on my makeup today so i'm wearing these two matte shades in my crease and for the main eyeshadow i'm wearing this khaki shade right here also on my inner corner where if you guys see that duo chrominess it's a this shade from the palette oof, which is stunning also i'm wearing this shade as my blush today and for highlighter i've used this shade from the palette i've been really enjoying using this eyeshadow as my face highlighter can you see how beautiful that looks it doesn't look chunky or it doesn't exaggerate the textures on my face which is what i want from a highlighter i mean i would recommend this palette only for these two shades from the palette that's how much i really enjoy this palette i feel like this palette is definitely worth it because of these two shades but honestly you guys this palette as a whole is a really nice palette to have the mattes blend in beautifully you don't have to sit there blending this eyeshadow for ages the shimmers they perform beautifully they are super pigmented and the shade selection is also really good so in case if you are someone who's starting with their makeup journey and want a nice palette to have i would highly recommend you guys checking out diamond dusk eyeshadow range from uh, forever 52 they have a couple of different variants in this palette so there's something for everybody so the fact that i've got this palette on my eyes and on my face says a lot I really do enjoy this palette and I would highly recommend you guys checking this palette out uh, in case we are looking for an eyeshadow palette that is yeah okay so those were all my favorite products for the past month or so so moving on to a not so favorite or what I like to call it is oops <laughs> i only have one product to talk about and before i show you guys what product that is this is not me hating this brand i'm just giving you guys my honest opinion so yeah please do not take it otherwise okay so the product that i hated the past month is this one this is the totten key five percent aha toner and uh, 
and I do not like this product. This product broke me out and how? I feel like the issue with this product is the fragrance on this. I have said this time and time again. I do not like products that has fragrance in it. So in case if you guys saw my skincare routine video, you guys would know none of the products that I mentioned in that video had fragrance in it because that's how much I hate fragrance in my skincare products. Fragrance is something that doesn't really have any benefit being in a skincare product. But honestly, it can irritate your skin, and especially if you are someone who's got sensitive skin you would want to steer away from any product that has any kind of fragrance in it and don't get me wrong i have tried products in the past that has fragrance in it but when i say that this product has an awful amount of fragrance in it i'm not even kidding you guys i can still get away with a little bit of fragrance although i prefer not to use any kind of fragrance in my skincare but the fragrance in this is just a little too much it's so much so that i can use this guy as a perfume that's how strong the fragrance on this bad boy is and i really hated how it irritated my skin exaggerated the textures on my skin and you know it's made me break out like crazy and i don't like this product and i would not recommend this product to any of you guys because oh my god the fragrance is a lot a lot and i'm not being dramatic here because i know i can be a little too dramatic but no <laughs> no 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 linda you do not need this in your life i'm so sad that i did not like this product because this is the first product that i've tried from this brand and i really wanted to like this product but sadly it didn't really work for me it just did the opposite of what it's supposed to do do not like do not recommend okay <laughs> okay so there you go guys those were my favorites and oops for the past couple of months so yeah i think that's it for this video you guys let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried any products that i've mentioned in today's video and yeah in case if you guys found this video entertaining or helpful then don't forget to like this video and also share this video with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe to my channel you guys it really means the world to me so I'm going to take a leave, you guys, and I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Bye, my loves. Mwah.